<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Gavin with Peyton and Maddie. And our special guest, Mr. Mitchell. <laughs> How are you? I am great. That's good. This year I'm teaching government and U.S. history and history of sports and psychology. Peyton, you've had my class, haven't you? Yes. Which class did you have last year? I, I had the one that you take when you're a junior. U.S. history. <laughs> that would be I can one. see that it made a big impact on your life. I feel good about that. <laughs> it did. I... So how did you become a teacher here at Harriman High? I hear there's a funny story. Funny may not be the word, but there is a story of oh. how I ended up in Utah. Before Utah, I was in California, and then I moved to Nevada. I was playing professional soccer, and I was playing for a team in Sacramento. I had a little girl at the time. Her mom moved to Reno, so I actually requested that I be let out of that contract so I could go to the team in Reno, and I went there, and then her mom got married and moved to Utah. And at the time, there was no soccer here, but I knew that I needed to be close to her because I lasted about two weeks and it was driving me nuts. And I had a girlfriend at the time. I said, hey, you want to go to Utah? And she said, no. And I said, all right, see ya. <laughs> so I moved to Utah. I get to Murray. Um, there's a hotel. I called it a hotel somewhere around 45th. I went to go, go get a room and I checked and my wallet was gone. And I had closed my account um, the night before I left to take the team out for a little um, night on the town. And so I had a pretty substantial amount of money and it was gone. So I was broke. So um, I just kind of thought, well, hmm, <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> um, I did have a sleeping bag, so I'm like, all right, so I'll find somewhere I can just sleep that's just safe, you know, and because it was, it was like in August, it was hot. So I found Murray Park, um, pulled my sleeping bag out, found a nice little spot under a tree. About 10 <laughs> minutes later, the sprinklers turned on. So it just went from bad to worse. <laughs> um, so I got back in my truck and waited for the sprinklers to turn off and then uh, found a table that hadn't got terribly wet and uh, slept on the table. And I just thought, I'll just figure things out in the morning. So the next morning I found where they were living. I got to see my daughter, so it made, it made it all worth it. She was uh, three at the time and we were very close. So, um, But it didn't uh, take away that I was broke and homeless. <laughs> so for about, um, for a few days there, I was uh, waking up in the morning, going over to the little stream there in Murray Park with a bar of soap, I'd get in there and wash off, wake up, <laughs> and then go see my daughter and, uh, you know, play with her or whatever. Um, and then someone told me about a, a job. I'm like, well, I have this degree. Maybe I could use that, you know, because I did graduate from college. <laughs> I went and interviewed, got that job out of Kearns High School in their youth and custody. And then from there, I went to another um, youth and custody facility. Um, was there for like 12 years, I think. Do you have any stories from your youth and custody experience? Oh, my goodness. I got stabbed with a pencil my first year. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> the kid got mad at me. He was right in my face, and he got mad at me. And uh, he turned around to walk away, and then I guess he just snapped a little bit and turned around. And the pencil was literally sticking in my thigh like a piece oh of styrofoam. <laughs> and I looked at him, and I looked down, and I looked at him, and I said, Are you serious? And he stumbled backwards. I think said. he thought I was going to kill him. That was all I said, believe it or not. I walked, I walked to the nurse with the pencil in my thigh, and I said, Hey, can you get this pencil out of my thigh? <laughs> so she patched me up a little bit. I coach club soccer also. I coach club soccer, and I coach for the... Utah Olympic Development Program, and there was a dad who said, hey, I know the principal, um, his name was Steve Park, the guy that was um, the principal the first year that did the hiring for Harriman. He said, um, I talked to him, he wants you to come in and interview. I went and interviewed, they offered me the job, and I was a little nervous, because youth and custody classes are like 10 or 12 kids, and here my classes are all like 387 <laughs> per classrooms built for 30. So I was a little intimidated by the size of the school and the size of the classes and, you know, um, 
but it's been it's been awesome. I love it here. Well, we're glad you found a proper place to shower, and you have money now. <laughs> well, I have a place to shower, but I don't use it much. Oh. Well. <laughs> but I'm glad I have one just in case. <laughs> yeah. It's there. To look at. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time on Gavin with Me.